Today we're going to look at this demo written by my friend Ned Gully, and we're going to use a technique to walk through this code to figure out how it was written. Trying to understand code that someone else has already written is actually a fairly common MATLAB skill when you get other people's code or code that you may, may have written months ago and then have now forgotten about. So what we're going to do is come to the command window, edit modes, and here's the code that creates that art. Now if we just run this, that's no good because everything happens at once and you don't really see what what went on. So what I like to do is come in here and put a breakpoint and now so that we can see everything I'm going to drag my figure around something like this so that we can fit everything on screen and now I run modes and let's watch how this works okay we clear the figure load some data okay that's a standard p color plot in the background that's how we did that turn off the axes change the shading change the color map and then how did he get all those other overlays aha those are separate axes and it looks like we're counting from 1 to 12 so that's how that's done and then set the edge color away axis off and that's how this is done by walking through this we can see that this code actually has 13 separate axes on there which was not entirely clear at the beginning so this simple technique of walking through your code and watching it evolve is very useful and not only can you watch the graphics but let's say we we're curious what this xlen is you can just cursor over it and it will give you a tooltip about that so you can understand these things as they're going and of course you could always stop out at the command window and do some math to figure out what the exposition is and so on. And then when you're done just hit continue here and the rest of your code will be run and of course now we can drag that out and it looks a little bit better. Okay so I hope this shows you a simple technique of using the debugger to walk through your code. This is especially good in graphical code like this so you can see every step as it's running. Thank you.